Hey, CrossFitters, welcome back. It's Coach Bob here at CrossFit Glen Burnie, Maryland, Strong Fitness and Nutrition. Today, I'm going to provide my reaction to the second week's workout for the CrossFit Open 22.2. We have deadlifts and bar facing burpees. Let's go over the workout first. Look at this thing. James Open Workout 22.2 is a couplet of deadlifts and bar facing burpees. Love those burpees. This workout features an ascending rep scheme, starting at one repetition of each movement and building to 10 repetitions of each movement. Then, the athlete will complete a descending ladder back down to one repetition of each movement. There is a 10 minute time cap on this workout. Your score will be the total time taken to complete the workout. If you do not complete the workout, then your score will be the total number of repetitions completed before the 10 minute time cap. For the official movement standards, as well as information about each division and workout variation, download the corresponding 22.2 scorecard and workout descriptions from games.crossfit.com. All right, guys, this is a 10 minute workout. Like I said, I had the opportunity to do this workout at the 11 o'clock class. So I wanna pass along a little bit of my reaction on the video, as well as some tips that I picked up from uh, Coach Angela, as well as uh, I was able to talk to a few folks that did the workout. So I wanna pass this along. I know about half of us have done this workout already at some of the early morning classes, and half of us haven't done it yet. So hopefully this is, will be helpful for you. So the first thing to really think about for this workout is it is 10 minutes. It's, it's not really long enough for most of us to finish. And the reason I say that is that I can look on sugar and I can see uh, that most people are getting time capped in this workout. The workout com uh, comprise of 100 bar facing burpees and 100 deadlifts. So you know, as a, um, you know, line in the sand, I kind of know from earlier workouts that it, it takes me about seven minutes to do a hundred burpees. So I just know that it leaves only three minutes to do a hundred deadlifts. That wasn't going to happen. Uh, the other thing I like to do, uh, prior to the workout, since I, uh, I registered for the CrossFit open, I can enter my, my, uh, uh, I can look at the leaderboard for the other people in my uh, age bracket and see where people are scoring, right? So since we already completed workout one, I can find where I am relative to some of the other people that also completed workout one and then see what scores they got uh, and then kind of uh, hopefully try to shoot for that. So that gave me a pretty good idea that I was looking at somewhere between 140 and 160 reps, right? And then based on that, I was able to kind of figure out how much time I would have, what pace I would need to work at. So anyway, that's tip number one. Tip number one, or my reaction was having a, a general idea of how far you think you can go. Now, another way you can do that is you can look in SugarWad and see, uh, maybe find one or two other members or community members that have completed the workout that you kind of compare with their score a little bit. And that might give you some idea as to where you might be on that. Why is that important? Well, it's important because in the first part of the workout, if you go too fast, right? Thinking that, yeah, I'm going to complete this workout, but you can really, or only, you know, you're really only going to maybe complete some part of it the number of reps, then you're going to hit a wall much sooner in this workout. Instead, being able to figure out the pace uh, that you should be working at will keep you uh, the, the intensity high, but not too high. So that's correctly pacing the workout. And that's why that part is uh, very important. And now, Coach Angela passed along a tip, which I think is pretty helpful, which is this is a 10 minute workout. So if you think of it as uh, the first five minutes and the second five minutes, you, you kind of want to, if you're the kind of person that uh, goes out too hot in workouts and you just know that about yourself, you may want to think about that first five minutes as uh, kind of like a little bit slower, hold back a little bit, and then you want to go faster in the second five minutes. So that would be one way to kind of think about it. You could also break it up into uh, different pieces as well. Uh, you know, the first minute, the the first three minutes and so on, if you wanted to kind of break it into more detail. Uh, but I think think just kind of thinking of it as uh, the first five minutes and the second five minutes. 
Oh boy. Tip number two. And this, this hit a couple of people that I was talking to and it was, they, uh, they, you, you want to make sure that you warm up for this 10 minute workout. Now, what's the general rule of thumb? If I have a shorter workout, 10 minutes, seven minutes, five minutes, even the intensity of the warm up has to be a, a greater and uh, longer and more involved, right? So if you are the kind of person where, you know, we, we get, we provide the, the practice round and you're like, well, I want to save these reps for the workout. Then you're doing yourself a disservice in my opinion, because you're that practice round is intended not only to just kind of get through some of the reps and, and to make the transitions, but also to prime the aerobic system at the appropriate level of intensity, right? So when you do your practice round, it should be as if you're right smack in the middle of the workout and you are pushing it. You are getting the appropriate level of intensity. If you don't taste that intensity before the workout, it's going to surprise you in the workout. So this workout is ascending rep scheme up to one to 10 and then descending from 10 down or from nine down to one. And that has the, because the reps are ascending in the beginning, you're climbing this mountain, right? You don't know what the intensity is when you've just completed round one, two, three, and four. There haven't been enough repetitions. You're only maybe 15% of the way into this workout. If you didn't warm up appropriately, if you didn't taste the intensity, if you didn't uh, do that before the workout, then you will hit a wall, in my opinion, uh, in there somewhere, right? Round four, maybe round five, maybe round six, definitely by round seven, you're going to hit a wall where you're going to be like, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. If you warm up appropriately and you prime that aerobic system, then all, all of that, uh, oxygen and, the uh, the changes in our body are, you know, are ready to hit that intensity, right? We've positioned ourselves in a way that metabolically we're now ready to do the work. Uh, and so that's why it's really important for us to be tasting that intensity before the workout and hitting it, that workout pace. You're going to have, uh, a, a couple minutes before the workout starts. So my, uh, my recommendation is hit those five, um, uh, five deadlifts, five burpees over the bar at the pace you think you're going to be working at in the workout and get that heart rate up going. All right. So <laughs> up going. So anyway, that's my, uh, second biggest tip on here. Uh, generally talking to people about this, uh, workout, we have burpees, we have deadlifts. The deadlifts seem to be the thing that at least a lot of the people that I'm talking to, they're, they're surprised by the amount of, uh, work that, that, that is the harder part where the burpees is not as hard, right? So if you think about it, equal, equal reps, uh, there's the same number of reps in burpees as in, uh, deadlifts, but with the, the burpee, we're moving our body weight through space and time. And with the deadlift, we're moving our body and the barbell with a significant weight on it, moderate weight through space and time. So there's actually higher intensity, higher load in the deadlift. You're doing more uh, relative work in the deadlift versus the burpee. Uh, that being said, uh, you, if you want to balance this workout, uh, out and get your best score, and then just be aware that the deadlifts are going to uh, relatively be slower than your burpees. So you'll complete your deadlifts in a certain amount of time, uh, and then you want to try to complete your burpees a little bit faster than that. Uh, otherwise, you'll um, you'll you'll find that you are. Uh, losing time on the burpees and you could have done more. So that's just my tip on that. This is a real burner guys. Good luck. I am uh, coming out to Friday night lights tonight. I will be out there uh, for Friday night lights at five 30. I'm looking forward to it. Take care guys. And I'm looking to see you soon. Yeah. Peace guys.